Hello friends, I am Dr. Kumar, doctor from Dr. Rai Institute and this is my next episode on the Z8 technology which is the latest in laser for eye care. Did you know as per statistics of 2020, approximately 7.83 million people about the age group of 50 have a cataract in India. And did you know that the cataract surgical rate that is the CSR that is the number of cataract surgeries done per million is about 28,000 in the age group of 50 and above. I can talk endlessly on cataract which is a topic very dear to my heart but I'm sure you're aware that on my channel of iLogs we have a series of 11 episodes on cataract surgery. So the various topics that I've covered in the series is from what exactly is a cataract and what is the latest management for cataract surgery. Another part I've covered is how to select the right lens for your eye. Two, the possible changes which is temporarily in your lifestyle management after a surgery. So you name a cataract related concern and I have it covered for you in that series. But now that we have the latest Z8 laser technology for cataract, I'm going to tell you about its positive impact on cataract surgery. So let's begin this episode of Z8 and cataract. We all know that cataract is a clouding of the lens that's the natural lens inside the eye there is no other treatment for cataract like putting eye drops that will prevent or stop the cataract from increasing the only treatment for cataract we know is today is surgery in the surgery we remove the cataract which is the clouding of the lens and replace it by an artificial lens and that's called the intraocular lens and this friends is the most common surgery performed today in the world so now we'll go into the details of a comparison between traditional cataract surgery versus laser or femto laser assisted cataract surgery. We'll go through the different steps of the surgery. Step one is making an incision from where we have to enter the eye to remove the cataract. In traditional surgery, we make these incisions with small instruments which are sharp and they are called the keratome or they are called the MVR blades. But in laser surgery, these incisions which are perfectly architectured are made with the help of a laser and the biggest benefit of this is it's a very good self-sealing incision because anatomically and architecturally they're perfectly structured and no blades are used so in the real sense it is a bladeless surgery the next step is the making the opening in the cataract this opening that we make in the cataract is about 5 or 5.25 millimeters in size. It's a perfectly round opening that is essential and we call this the rexus. This opening is made with the help of a laser compared to the traditional surgery in cataract where we have to manually go in, use a small little instrument called the forceps and then we make the opening in the cataract which is manually done. Once the opening is made with the help of the laser, the next step is to break the cataract into small pieces. We all know that the size of a cataract is about 11 to 12 millimeters in diameter, but the incision that we make on the eye is about 2.2 millimeters. So we have to break the cataract inside the eye and then remove it from the eye. The beauty with the laser surgery is that small pieces of cataract are made with the help of the laser compared to the traditional surgery where we actually have to make the pieces inside the eye. So the biggest benefit of laser surgery is the opening the eye, the opening of the cataract, breaking the cataract into small pieces is all automated. It's just like having a safety mechanism in your surgery. So always I recommend laser cataract surgery because the safety of surgery increases tremendously compared to the traditional cataract surgery which has been going on for years. So in traditional cataract surgery, what we do is chop the cataract into multiple small pieces inside the eye. Once multiple pieces are made, we use ultrasound energy which is called phaco emulsification and we remove these small pieces from inside the eye with the help of ultrasound energy. In laser cataract surgery, we still use the phaco emulsification but the quantum of ultrasound energy actually becomes half. The biggest benefit is 
because the cataract is already cut into small pieces with the help of the laser this step is not necessary in laser cataract surgery because the pieces are already made with the laser so then we use the ultrasound energy to remove these pieces from the eye so in laser assisted cataract surgery besides the benefits of a perfect incision the opening of the cataract which is perfectly round breaking the cataract into small pieces even the ultrasound energy that is used to remove the small pieces is half of that of normal and this is the biggest benefit of getting laser cataract surgery done so once the cataract the main part of the cataract which we call the nucleus is removed the other steps of surgery are the same in laser or traditional cataract surgery and that we call as irrigation aspiration that is to remove the cortical material followed by lens implantation that is the lens or the iol that we need to put inside the eye that is replacing the artificial cataract these steps remain the same in both the surgeries to summarize let us look at the advantages of laser cataract surgery over the traditional cataract surgery the ultimate precision and accuracy in a micrometer range it's minimally invasive and the predictability of every surgical step is to the next level so friends this concludes this episode on the latest of laser cataract surgery with the Z8 stay tuned and stay safe in the next few episodes i'm going to cover how this laser is used to remove the number of your glasses so the latest in refractive surgery will be covered in the next few episodes